Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in this particular video I am going to discuss about one small project related to linear regression concept whatever we have discussed in our previous video. So first let me run the project and show you the execution. After that I will discuss the code because the code is quite simple. So evaluate selection if I do in the command window one input you have to give enter how many times you want to run the same code. So this is nothing but enter for how many points you want to calculate the linear regression model. Suppose I am giving for suppose 10. Okay, let us check for 10 data points. One figure window will open and if you put your uh, if you move your mouse pointer it will look like this. Okay, so using this whenever you will click on the figure window that particular x and y coordinate that is uh, point coordinate will be taken as input for linear regression okay so first i am taking one point here so i am just clicking the mouse pointer and see here you can see one uh, uh, scatter plot of that particular point is happening now I for one particular point there is no meaning of straight line right because straight line is not unique for one particular point at least to plot a straight line we require two points. So I am taking one more point here as soon as I take two points we will be getting one uh, least square fitting linear regression model and as there are only two points so it is quite obvious that one straight line will be formed which will pass through both the points which is happening so our model is perfect for the time being. Now what I will do, I will put one more point here, okay. So as soon as I will put one point at this position, what will happen? Obviously this line has to shift in the upper side, right? Let us check. As soon as I will uh, click the mouse, uh, hit the uh, mouse pointer, see what happens. So see, as soon as I hit the mouse pointer here, one new coordinate comes and this particular line is now the least square fitting re linear regression line for whole system that is this point this point and this point okay i am taking one point here okay so what will happen this particular right side uh, end of this particular line should be shifted in the upward direction see i am just running this is shifted in the upward direction right so like this our model is now fitting uh, as least square uh, model for the whole system I am taking uh, suppose three points here in this particular part then the line has to come in this direction only so one point I am taking two point taken three point taken so as see as I am taking the points the line is moving according to that and trying to fit the model in its, in its best way okay I am taking some points in the upward direction so the whole model has to shift in the upward part okay like that it should happen all right so our 10 points are completed so this is how our this particular project works now let me show you the code okay it is quite interesting i request you to or uh, i request all of you to just once after understanding the code just run it in your matlab you can feel the linear regression in much better way okay what i am doing first clc clear all close all then a equal to input enter how many times you want to run uh, the same code okay that is nothing but after all how many data points there should present in your main figure window that kind of that you can think then x and y coordinate uh, to take those values i am uh, making two empty matrix okay then h equal to zero this variable later i will show you the usage then for i equal to one colon a i am iterating my for loop for that many number of points x is minus 10 10 minus 10 10 so minimum x coordinate is minus 10 maximum x coordinate is 10 minimum y coordinate is minus 10 maximum y coordinate is 10 all right you can take according to your choice i have just taken randomly then m n g input 1 this is very important what g input does g input 1 will basically take one input as uh, whenever you hit the mouse pointer what will happen that particular x and y coordinate will be placed at m and n suppose you are writing g input 5 so you can take five points simultaneously okay i need one so i have given g input one then i am padding the x and y coordinate where x coordinate is m and y coordinate is n in my x and y array which we have defined here as empty okay then plot x comma y comma o line style is small o this will help us to do scatter plot of our of our data set okay then 
Here I am writing one thing. If length of x greater than 2, delete h end. Okay. Why this if condition is used? See, whenever I put one new uh, coordinate uh, in our uh, frame, what will happen? The previous plot, uh, that is previous linear regression line has to be deleted. And that's what I have used this particular if. Okay. Delete h is used to delete our previous linear regression uh, line. Uh, so basically our previous linear regression line will store as h variable. Later you will come to know that we are deleting here. Okay. But obviously length of x should be greater than 2. Then only we are plotting, right? Because until and unless we are getting at least two points, we cannot draw a, draw a straight line. So that I have uh, given the condition if length of x greater than 2, then only delete the plot. Okay axis minus 10 10 minus 10 10 again i am giving then if length of x greater than 1 okay what i am doing if we have at least two data points then what we can do we can fit our model for linear regression see now this particular part is nothing but the linear regression model which we uh, have seen our previous video also and then we are simply plotting our linear regression line but now before plotting we are assigned this plot with variable age so for the next iteration we need to remove this particular figure so we, we can use delete age okay and then again axis and then end the if condition and end the final for loop. Okay, simple code I have written just you know, need to know two concepts. One is how to take x and y coordinate as input using mouse pointer. Another one is you need to know how you can use linear regression concept in uh, MATLAB. Okay, this particular code no need to explain further because same code I have discussed. You can check the detailed explanation uh, in my previous video. The link I will be posting in the description. Okay. Same code I will be posting in the comment section. Okay, I cannot post the code in the description box because here I am using a curly uh, bracket or arrow and this is not allowed in description. So I will post my same code uh, that is this one in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. And I will always recommend that please have a, a simulation in MATLAB because this will help you to build a strong feeling in regression, linear regression. Okay. That's all for my this video. Thank you for watching.